All right, so in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create an Amazon review scraper using Python. So on Amazon's website, I'll be using uh, the big book of dashboards, visualizing your data using real world business in your uh, book or this product uh, as example. So before we dive into the tutorial, uh, just let me show you what the output is going to look like. All right, so here I have a CSV file, but I'll be uh, exporting the reviews into Excel spreadsheet. So we're going to uh, export information such as uh, which product is the review coming from, the review title, review uh, comment or the review text, as well as a rating of the review. When is the review post, the person who posts the review and the person's profile URL. And let me see what else do we have. Oh, and whether or not if the uh, review is a fear fighter purchase. All right, so let me close this uh, Excel file. All right, so uh, let me dive in right into the uh, Python script. So there are three uh, libraries that you will be uh, installing. The first one is going to be the requests library to make the API request uh, to extract the HTML markup or the page source markup from the uh, reviews page. And the second one is going to be pandas, and this one is optional. So if you've never used pandas library before, uh, this is one of the most useful library when it comes to uh, manipulating data uh, counts or rows or to exporting uh, your table into different uh, file format. And lastly, we have beautiful soup4, which is a, a Python library to uh, script uh, definition based on the uh, marker language. All right, so this one more thing that we'll be uh, needing. So I create a uh, this class or this module called Amazon Common Scraper.py. And you can grab the source code from the link in the description below. So basically here, let's look at the source code so you can uh, understand what the class is doing. All right, so from uh, this module, from Amazon Common Scraper.py module, I created a class called Amazon Scraper. Inside this class, uh, there's one method called Scrape Reviews. So from this method, we have three parameters. The first parameter is asking for the uh, review page URL. The second parameter is going to be the review page. So if we go to Amazon's website, and let's look at the reviews for uh, this product. All right, so here, let me uh, maximize the window. So we want to go down all the way to the bottom, and we want to make sure that we see all the reviews. And you can verify the link that is a uh, reviews page by looking at the URL. And make sure that the subdirectory contains uh, product reviews. And from the uh, product reviews page, we have uh, multiple pages. So unfortunately, Amazon doesn't give you the uh, page uh, link, I forgot what it's called, that allows you to uh, go to uh, a specific uh, review page. So by using the script or by using the uh, Python program, we'll be able to navigate to different page uh, to see the reviews pretty easily. We can also uh, sort the reviews based on the most recent reviews or by the most helpful, basically the most liked reviews. Other than that, uh, that's going to be everything that you need to know when it comes to uh, how to use the uh, function. All right, so let's import uh, the required library first. So we're going to import the time module. Next, I'm going to import a uh, pandas module. And from Amazon common scrapers uh, module, I'm going to import the Amazon scraper class and increase the uh, font size. All right, so we're going to uh, create a blank or empty list first to uh, store each review. Next, we're going to create an instance of the Amazon uh, Scraper object. I'll name this as Amazon AMC underscore Scraper. All right, so the way how uh, the class, the Amazon Scraper class is able to uh, extract the comments. Here, let's go into one of the uh, comments, uh, HTML markup. 
So I'm going to highlight just one of the uh, text from the view itself. Right click, inspect. Now from the top, make sure that uh, you're on the inspect uh, tab. All right, so if we look at the uh, HTML elements, so basically I use different keys such as uh, data hook as the, uh, as the key and for the uh, review uh, post date. So we have this uh, ID value review dates. So basically I just provide different key and value pairs uh, to extract the uh, corresponding information that I want to, uh, I want to export to my Excel spreadsheet. Now let's say I want to uh, export the reviews from page one to page, uh, page four. So I'm going to grab the link. So as long as you're on the uh, product reviews uh, page, it doesn't matter if you're on page one, page 10, I will just need the uh, URL. All right, so here, let me do this. I'll create a variable called product URL and I'll paste the uh, URL. Next, we're going to uh, insert loop. So the loop is going to uh, basically iterate the pages that want to uh, import the comment or script the comments, or the, uh, not comments, reviews. So let's say if I want to uh, script comments, oh, no, not comments, uh, review, sorry, from page two to page five. So I can say for page number in range, and it's going to be uh, two to six. Inside the loop, I'm going to reference uh, the MC scraper object, and I'll call the scrape reviews function. Inside the uh, function method, we're going to provide the uh, product URL and the uh, page number. Now let me name the output as review items. And I'll print uh, the reviews items option. Then I'll exit out uh, the loop. So here, uh, let me delete this Excel file. I'm going to uh, go ahead and run the script. Oh, got to uh, activate my environment. All right, so if we look at the output, so the output is going to be a list of uh, named tuples. So here, uh, let's just grab one of the records. All right, so if we go back to the Amazon class, actually uh, Amazon scraper class. So on the top, we have this uh, user view named tuple object. And from this object, I can uh, specify the counts or the fields that I want to store the information. So that's where uh, all these inflations are coming from. Now I want to uh, reference the fields. So based on the uh, property name, so if I want to reference the uh, user profile URL, then we'll simply uh, reference the attribute. So like this. So we're going to reference the uh, name table object followed by the attribute field. In this case, uh, this is going to print the uh, uh, user's profile URL. And Panda recognize uh, name table is going to be able to analyze the uh, data set and convert that into a data frame object. And which is going to be very handy when it comes to uh, exporting the result set into different files. Now to finish the uh, lesson, I'm going to append the uh, list of the outputs to the uh, reviews uh, list. So if you want to extend the records, and because we don't want to get uh, banned from Amazon swap site. So I'm going to delay the next uh, loop execution by one second. 
And once we export all the views, we can create our data frame object by passing the views list. And I'll name the output as df. And here I can uh, use the to Excel method to save uh, the reviews content or a result set a sync cell file. So I'll name this as Amazon product view followed by uh, the product name. All right, so here let me go ahead and uh, run the script. All right, so here I'm here. So this should be uh, reviews. So here I forgot to uh, name pandas library as pd. All right, so let me just do it again. Okay. Uh, oh, so here's my mistake. All right, so one more time. I think this is going to be the last time that I'm going to run the script. Okay, so this time I'm not running into an ear. Now, if I go into my project folder, and here's the uh, Excel spreadsheet. Now let me open the spreadsheet and let's take a look at the content real quick before I, I conclude this uh, tutorial. All right, so in column A, we have product name. So these are all your attributes name. And we have a uh, review title, common. The rating of the review, posting dates, username, profile URL and verified of purchase. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to cover for this tutorial. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And feel free to uh, leave your comment or your question in the comment section below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.